Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will learn about amount or future value of an annuity. Now, the amount or future value of an annuity is the sum of the compound amounts of all the payments accumulated at the end of the term. Now, let capital A denotes the future amount of an annuity and let A dollars be the annual payment of each installment of an annuity of n periods and R percent be the rate of interest per period and R denotes the interest of one dollar for the same period therefore R is equal to R upon 100. Now let us discuss the amount of future value of an annuity in case of annuity due. Now in case of an annuity due, the payments are made at the beginning of each payment period. Now suppose N payments are made for n periods then the first payment earns interest for n periods the second payment earns interest for n minus 1 the whole period and so on the MS payment will earn interest for one period. Now we can find out the amount by using this formula which we are using in case of the compound interest. Now here as I is equal to R upon 100 so the amount can be calculated by using the formula P into 1 plus I the whole raised to power N where P is the principal for each period. Now here, in case of energy due, the first payment earns an interest for N periods. That is, in this case, the payments are made at the beginning of each payment period. So, the first payment that is at the beginning of the first period will earn an interest for n periods. So the first payment amounts to A into 1 plus I whole raised to power n. Now the second payment that is at the end of the first period and at the beginning of the second period will earn interest for n minus 1 periods. So the second payment will amount to a into 1 plus i whole raised to power n minus 1. Now the third payment 
will earn just for n minus 2 periods. So the third payment amounts to a into 1 plus i whole raised to power n minus 2. And continuing likewise, the last payment will be made after n minus 1 periods. That is, at the beginning of the nth period, and the nth payment amounts to a into 1 plus i the whole. That is, the nth payment earns interest for 1 period only. Now, the sum of the compound amounts of all the payments will give us the amount of the annuity. That is, the future amount of the annuity which is denoted by capital A. Therefore, the amount of the annuity that is capital A is equal to A into 1 plus I whole raised to power N plus A into 1 plus I whole raised to power N minus 1 plus so on up to plus A into 1 plus I the whole. Now this is equal to now taking A into 1 plus I the whole common from all these terms it will be a into 1 plus i the whole into 1 plus i this whole raised to power n minus 1 plus 1 plus i this whole raised to power n minus 2 plus so on up to plus 1 plus i the whole plus 1 and this complete whole. Now in the geometric progression, the sum of two n terms, that is Fn, is equal to A into R raised to power n minus 1 the whole, whole upon R minus 1, where R is greater than 1. Now this is also a geometric progression, where R is equal to 1 plus I the whole, and A is equal to 1. So by using this formula, this will be equal to A into 1 plus I the whole into 1 plus I whole raised to power N minus 1 whole upon 1 plus I the whole minus 1 this complete whole which is equal to A into 1 plus I the whole whole upon I into 1 plus i whole raised to power n minus 1 this complete whole therefore this is the future amount of the annuity which is denoted by capital A and in this case n denotes the last payment made after n minus 1 periods and the accumulated money is received after n periods as in the case of recurring deposits in a bank. Now let us discuss the future amount of the annuity in case of immediate annuity. Now in this case the payments are made at the end of each payment period. Therefore the first payment will start at the end of first period and hence the first payment will earn interest for n minus 1 the whole periods. Likewise, the second payment will earn 
interest for n minus 2 the whole Px and so on the last payment will not earn any interest since this payment is made at the end of the term now in case of the immediate annuity the first installment that is A will earn an interest for n minus 1 periods so the first installment will amount to A into 1 plus i the whole raised to power n minus 1 now the second installment will earn an interest for n minus 2 periods so it will amount to a into 1 plus i whole raised to power n minus 2 likewise the third installment will amount to a into 1 plus i whole raised to power n minus 3 and continuing likewise the last installment of A dollars will not earn any interest since its payment is made at the end of the term so it will remain A only. Now the sum of the compound amounts of all the payments will give us the future amount of the annuity. Therefore the amount of the annuity which we have denoted as capital A is equal to A into 1 plus I the whole raised to power n minus 1 plus A into 1 plus I whole raised to power n minus 2 plus so on up to plus A into 1 plus I the whole plus A into 1 plus I whole raised to power 0 now here, this can be written as A as 1 plus i whole raised to power 0 will be 1. Now to do A common, this will be equal to A into 1 plus i whole raised to power n minus 1 plus 1 plus i whole raised to power n minus 2 plus so on up to plus 1 plus i the whole plus 1 this complete whole. Now again using the formula for finding out the sum of two n terms that is Fn in a geometric progression where r is greater than 1 this will be equal to a into 1 into 1 plus i the whole raised to power n minus 1 and this complete all all upon 1 plus i the whole minus 1 and this complete whole as a here is 1 and r is 1 plus i the whole now this is equal to a upon i into 1 plus i the whole is to power n minus 1 and this complete whole now in case of immediate annuity this is the future amount of the annuity which is denoted by capital A and here in this case n denotes the last payment made after n periods as in the case of loan taken from the bank so in this session we have learnt about amount or future value of an annuity. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.